Hi Kickstart, my name is uh, TJ Ross and I come in today I want to tell you about my game I've been developing. It's called Aftermath. And this is um, an old classic tabletop role playing game like your Dungeons and Dragons and games of old. Well, um, with all the pop culture and everything coming back around nowadays, you know, Magic Cards are skyrocketing, d and D's new editions have come out. I've put together a lot of different pop cultures to come in there. We got everything from like The Walking Dead, Resident Evil, Mad Max, uh, Terminators, um, anything that you can think of along those lines. And it takes place in the aftermath apocalypse in a post-apocalyptic United States. So you can see a few of the different um, scenarios, just kind of give you visual ideas on the background. This has been in development for a while. It's, it's been like beta tested through a few different um, different players and stuff. And um, But what I need help with is to help getting it published and getting it on out onto the market. But um, what we do, I'm going to give you a quick little rundown on what the, how the world is. Now, um, the world takes place in around 2023, um, or around 2030, actually. 2030, a, a company by the name of Biotech is working on this engineering this, this new serum. This serum is supposed to be like the limitless pill. It unlocks other potentials of the brain so that... You, know, you can use more people are developing psychic abilities and it, it's used to cure like cancers, Alzheimer's, any type of dementia and things along those lines. Well, this court, this company, BioCorp, freaking ends up <clears throat> becoming, gets all greedy for the money and starts developing this for military textile. So, um, 10 years into the past, 10 years in the past, a massive explosion happens in the city of Chicago. And the city of Chicago is where the main BioCorp facility happens. When that happens, it levels 16 blocks of downtown Chicago. <clears throat> the United States gets called in, freaking uh, gets called in as a rescue service. So the, the government sends everybody that they can here to help all the people. Well, not only does it stimulate the brain of, to help you generate psychic powers, but it also stimulates the electric magnet pulses in the brain of the dead. So the dead starts to come back to life. When the dead overruns, <clears throat> overruns the, the refugee camps and everything, it is, of course, a three, and by the time three years pass, every major city has failed throughout the United States. Communications have become lost. Vegetation and plants also starts getting wiped out all across, the, all across the world. Everything starts to dry up and becomes the desert waste. Massive cities are gone. Everybody's banding together to, uh, just to make it to different cities. Now, as you look, up, look at the map here, it's like the only four cities that remain in the United States is New York. The citizens of New York were able to block off everything but the, uh, the Brooklyn Bridge, and that's the only thing over to Manhattan Island. So the citizens citizens able to hold down Manhattan Island and start building this massive mega city. Now, four years into the plague, a massive tsunami happens in the Atlantic Ocean. Tidal waves come, wipe out most of the eastern, eastern shoreboard. Florida goes completely underwater. And the citizens of Miami and the rest of Florida, that um, there were about... Eight floors of the skyscraper sticking out of the ocean. They built these massive, big floating docks around the cities and uh, the buildings in Miami, and that become being landlocked from the rest of the continent becomes a safe haven for everybody else. So Miami starts to flourish as like a water city, and um, everything throughout the breadbasket and everything else is annihilated. Small packs of resistance. Everybody's trying to get to a city. We're trying to get to some kind of safety, but there's also those people who would rather take what you have. <clears throat> then get it for their self. Those are the bandits that come across. So everybody comes. Los Angeles falls one of the first. But the citizens of California team together and they take over Los Angeles back. They take over Los Angeles and they call it New Haven. New Haven is a sanctum for everyone. Everybody starts to migrate in there because they say they have a cure. All the greatest minds start going there. And when all minds start coming together for a common cause in these massive cities, technology starts to skyrocket. Levitation technology, force technology. Everybody has to work together for a common cause, and that is survival. So human race kind of bands together. So you have these massive mega cities that pop up across this desert wasteland. <laughs> and throughout the game of Aftermath, there's, there's also the city of Seattle. But there's massive gangs ruling the wastelands. Nomads and, and, uh, uh, <clears throat> nomads and road warriors trying to help people across, take everything else. Matt, corporate espionage uh, assassins in the city environment is completely different than, than in the wasteland. So you, you branch into different styles. Game of Aftermath 
um, it's, it's been pretty popular, but we went real in depth. It runs off of, you run off the of atlas of the United States. You can also branch it into different worlds. You could use the whole world, different areas, and you could follow the interstate systems and anything that they find on the regular atlas or on the map, you can use in the game. So, but we also, you can break down your individual cities and how they come. And one thing that we got to do is, is our baseline counter and salvage charts. These are just a touch of, of a few, but we'll expand into them a lot more. And um, follow me over here for a second. Now over here we have <clears throat> the multiple different character classes that develop throughout the game. And your different baseline character sheets. So we got a good start on everything. And <clears throat> we've run it through a couple betas and everything's worked out well. And... This is also, we have our whole skill line of base core, but kind of designed and core out. We're still working on a little bit of the graphic art and everything. But um, one thing that is good is like anybody that sponsors and wants to help us with this project here, we'll add your name as an NPC player into the game. This, as we see a lot of NPC players here, but you've got, you, your sponsorship will be massively helped to get this game published. And we will integrate you into the game as your own personal character. Um... What also is different about this game is like you just you don't gain levels and when you progress in this game is like you learn from others. You learn from other players, other people. People have to teach. So if you know one thing, you have to be taught it from another. You can teach what you know to someone else. So it's a lot of it's a lot of player interactivity and it works works out well together because everybody has to work for the common goal. And um, but yeah, this is the game aftermath, and I'm TJ. Um, I hope to hope to see your sponsorship and help me get this out on the market, man. I appreciate your time. Peace and love, my friends.